Okay, this is the last one of the day. This is a cereal box premium. Back in the 50s and 60s, well, actually, way back in the 30s, I should say, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and all the way up into the 90s, you know, most cereal manufacturers would have premiums, little toys, um, stickers, rings, all kinds of goodies would be inserted in boxes of cereal. It, basically, they created the whole Chase phenomenon because the only other company that had like a Chase item at the time during those in the 30s or even you know, 30s, 40s, 50s and all that stuff was Cracker Jacks. Of course, Cracker Jacks wasn't a cereal, but um, this is a cereal premium. Now, General Mills was the parent company of Kenner Toys, so naturally it made all the sense in the world for them to cross-promote their sister company, Kenner. And such a, subsequently, they did such that. This particular item was in boxes of Cheerios and Lucky Charms. You can actually watch commercials of Lucky Charms on YouTube that feature this particular item. So, without further ado, let's get inside, shall we? This, of course, is coming from Mount Prospect, Illinois. From seller's name is Keith. Thank you very much, Keith. This is truly awesome. I mean... I had these back in the day because who didn't open up boxes of cereal just to get the toy inside? Because the cereal was bonus. We really wanted the toy or the insert or whatever was in there. It's like, ooh, stickers. Okay, let's go ahead and open her up, shall we? I think I can do this without scissors. Oh, no. Or I keep saying the scissors. <laughs> it's a habit. All right. I mean, he. Okay, this thing is very little, but he put it in this huge box. I mean, kid you not. <laughs> there it is on the side. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. That's an empty box. Okay. Well, take it out of a Ziploc bag. Go figure. Alright. And this is it. I mean, look at this. It's called the Kenner Cash Refund Booklet. In this case, book. What it did, what this basically was showcasing were the Kenner products that were available in 1977, 76, and 75, because some of them were carryovers. On the back there, check it out. We got Stretch Armstrong and Stretch Monster. Now, between the two of them, Stretch Monster, he's very expensive. If you can find one still in a box, in poppable condition, that means he can still stretch because the syrup material inside of them was known to dry up and got nasty. But uh, if you can find one where it's still palpable and it's and, you know you can literally still stretch them, Stretch Monster is going to set you back $3,000. I kid you not. He's $3,000. But there's other ones that are even more expensive. Now, literally, the booklet, when you opened it up, I'm not going to do too much of it. So you just like that. And you open up here and there, and as you worked your way into it, you got into, being real careful there, uh, Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman stickers. These are literally stickers inside. Like, this is 1977, folks, and I'm not messing with it too much. <laughs> but yeah, this is a super rare piece, because, I mean, on the average... Most of the time, you will see the stickers, but you will not see the complete booklet. I mean, this is primo. You know, and uh, of course, look at this one on the back. It says, Baby won't let go. What does she won't let go? Of the past? She needs to move on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, really. Okay. But hey, that's it, folks. That was the, the last page. And look at it. You can see Steve and Jamie right there. Well, Naturally, they wanted to showcase that because at the time, the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman were the two hottest selling toys, period. Nobody was catching up with that. That's it for now. I got more things coming up later on. Um, I'll shoot those later, and you guys can enjoy them at your convenience. Everyone have a great and safe, wonderful weekend. Memorial Day, of course, is not the same as it was in, let's say, last year. So... Do what you can to enjoy your time off. Bye for now.